man, when am I gonna get a paycheck for one of these licks? We're done here. find whatever it is you're looking for. Good choice. All yours. Damn, ho, ho, shit. The liberal have the money and the guilt. 
out. And that is who I am, who I want to be, the rich hypocrite with the guilt complex like you, Sue. Listen, Fernando, I'm from a middle-class family that worked hard so that I could eventually marry an obscenely rich man and then tell women out there to stand up, stop complaining, and make something of themselves. I believe in hard work. You had a very public divorce, Miss Murray. Yes, that was unfortunate. But I stood up for what I deserved in divorce court. Our legal system recognizes the contribution a spouse makes to the other's success. <laughs> Excuse me? Fernando not laughing. He, um, thinks you deserve more. Yes, we do deserve more. I took 80% of my ex-husband's wealth. Like many women, I said one thing before we got married, then stopped doing any of those things afterwards, and acted indignantly when my husband got upset. And that ability to lie and change my mind... Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Mind me saying. Everyone thinks it must be so exciting working in a gun store, but it's really not. Cops come asking, my lips are sealed, I promise. Couldn't have picked better myself.
It's author and parenting guru, Alan McLean. Hey, I heard what you said about my book. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. McLean, but it's barbaric. Children should be coddled and never made to feel bad or actually respect authority. I'll come over and hit your kid right now. Hell, I'll come over and hit you. You sound like you need to spank me by a Marine. And I'm the Marine to do it. My goodness. I thought this was an intelligence station. Is this what you would like, Sue Murray? Would you like this man who writes the book to spank you like a little girl and then hold you tight afterwards? His stubble hey. on the nape of your neck, smelling of whiskey on his breath. What, 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 what are you talking about? Damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. No browsing. It's bye now or bye bye, honey. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Just get the fuck out of here, Nutless. How am I supposed to do any business with you creeping me? Damn, that must be my girl. What up, girl? You won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. Hey, baby, we're gonna get it for 10 bucks. You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, baby, you miss me? I was starting to think you. Oh my god, no! Stop! Get away from me, you maniac! You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey man, I wiped that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. Program's Chris Formage 
Bush recently defended the religion. The question is, do the rich, famous, and good-looking become epsilonists, or do we epsilonists become rich, famous, and good-looking? Well, it doesn't really matter because... Do I know you from somewhere? Where are my glasses? Ugh, it should be fine. Anytime. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Oh my god. Hello! Who farted? Come on, that's disgusting. Hey, get in, we running late. Oh man, there's an up and atom burger box under my seat filled with vomit!
Did anyone see fame or shame last night? Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spent thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Just business shit, you know how it is. what I'm talking about. Now that's sense, and that's nonsense together, and you do not agree with each other. Now they have merged and gave your ass diarrhea. We're cleansing everything. Mind, body, and your spirits. We're going big. We're going all the way. Nirvana. Puda. Mahala, Limbo, and this being Vinewood, Bimbo, Himbo, and Dumbo, around the world and back again. You got a round trip, girl, to spirituality. Okay. A round trip. Cool. Okay. Yeah. This is the full set. It's something all-encompassing, like a big compass which has everything in it. Not just a silly arrow that tells you which way to go north, but also a lot of other arrows that tell you other shit. Hey, bro, no hi. Right away, sir. All right, brother, here we are. You were 
arrested my African-American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me! Why, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You wanna bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway! We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 you're nice to got a minority quota. Unless you take... Look, please! We come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky you can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan. All right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that.
motherfucker, man. I got you. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael.
Like, go on your head right now. Like, close your eyes. Go on your head. Get a whisk broom. You know what a whisk broom is? You eventually you'll see a, a barber on TV, and after he cuts your hair, he whisk broom you off. Mm -hmm. Your hair off your body. Yeah. Take a whisk broom and whisk your brain out your head and clear your thoughts. Okay. Like, get, do it now. Do it now. Clear your brain all them damn thoughts. Yeah. You feel empty now? Yeah. Is your brain empty? Yeah. Now let's go. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm so empty right now. Like I got a colonic in my brain stream. I got crap the crap out of my brain. Mm -hmm. Hit the outro music. This has been another episode of Chakra Attack with Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Mm -hmm. Ouch! Keep your hands to yourself. Don't ever do me that way, woman. I used to enjoy... Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hanger is up there on the left. That's why I got the electro electronic You hear that? It sounds like I'm free basing smoking pipe, but it's electronic. Looks like a bass pipe, feels like one, tastes like one, and most of all, it feels real. That's because the real kill... Oh, there she is. <laughs> Well, you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Eh, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go! Seriously, I talk to myself a lot. You know, sometimes I just stand in front of the mirror with no clothes on and say,